What up, gang? I'm heading back. Just picked up my rental. Guess what? Last time they had me in a fucking minivan. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's do this. It's a light in me a shine. I say that shit every time. I got some rickety wreck gas. Running through bitches like back page. I'm going number one this year. Right on it, bitch, I'm a six gear. I'm on the giant, got no fear. Do all my dirt in the rain. Watch your way out of your head again. I got some chain in 18. Man, What up, gang? Y'all miss me? Shout out everybody been keeping up with your boy, man, since I've been gone. So this is gonna start chapter three. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't been but a, but a few months. But this is gonna be chapter three, you know. Went out with my trainer. That was chapter one. Got my own truck, you know. Went home for Christmas. I only had like two loads before I went home for Christmas. So we're gonna call that chapter two. So now, my birthday was Friday, February 1st. I've been home ever since Wednesday. So now we're going on chapter three. You know, I got a better understanding of how to how to how to handle this shit. You know, how to, how to operate my clock, uh, motherfucking uh, you know how how to deal with these dispatches, how how to navigate a little bit better, you know stuff like that. We're gonna call this chapter three. Cause you know what, uh, I already I already got it mapped out. You know, March tenth. March 10th gonna be my exactly 90 days since I've been on my since I've been in my own truck. So it's December 10th, so that's January 10th, February 10th, March 10th. March 10th, exactly 90 days. Since I I've, I've been with Melton a little longer than that, but you know, I was with a trainer. So actually on my own, 90 days experience is gonna be March 10th. So so, so hey, we're gonna we're gonna see what's up, man. We're gonna see what's up. I'm gonna go ahead and fly through this month of February. Not, not exactly sure when I go home again. Not exactly sure. Cause you know, they, they tell you, before you get hired, you know, they tell you every two weeks. But that ain't that ain't exactly the case. You get you get one day for uh every week you out. So so you do two weeks, you get two days. That's not necessarily saying you're gonna go home automatically for two days. That's just saying you get in two weeks you get two days of home time. But you know the way the way around it, the way around that shit. You know, you gotta you gotta put the home time request in two weeks in advance. Some people might argue with me and say one week in advance, but nah, that ain't the case. Cause I already tried that one time before. I tried it one time before. Uh, I was in uh, I was in Pennsylvania. I had just dropped the load off in Pennsylvania. I think I dropped it off in Harrisburg. No, not Harrisburg, somewhere in Pennsylvania. And I put my home time request in and my dispatcher was like, nah, you can't do that. You gotta but he he came up with talking about I was I was west of uh whatever it was, I thirty five. I wasn't even west of it. I was in Pennsylvania. But I had to take a load to Denver. And I hadn't even accepted the load to go to Denver yet, so he was like since you west to I-35, I'm not sure if it's I-35 or I-45, 55, one of them. I know if you're out west, you got to put it in three weeks. And uh, I put it in a week ahead. He was like, nah, you can't do it. So anyway, I say two weeks, but I actually put put it in for three weeks in advance. I don't know, two, three weeks. You know, man, you got you to gotta stand up for yourself, man. You got to stand up for yourself when it comes to a lot of stuff. That's one thing I learned already. Uh, that's just how it is, man. That's that's gonna be any company. I talk I talk with a lot of different truckers. You know, they tell me they like um <clears throat> some of these companies, man. They act like the world gonna end if if you if you ask to go home. So I'm not sure when I go home again, but I know it'll be more than two weeks from now because you know what? I'm not even in a rush to get back home because you know I I understand that in order to make. In order for you to make money as a trucker, you know, 
you can't you can't go home every weekend. You can't you just can't do it unless you with a good company that you know that that it just route you through the house, and you know you making some you making pretty good money. <laughs> Where two days home ain't gonna hurt you. But uh, that ain't that ain't the case for me. I I gotta run these miles so I can I run my checkup. That's what I plan on doing. So no, nah, I'm not crying about not going home. I ain't worried about that. So anyway, back to where I was at. Today is Tuesday. February 5th, I believe. Today is Tuesday. Yeah, I went home last Thursday, which was January 30th. My birthday was Friday, February 1st. So, uh, yeah, I went home. I got home about 3 in the morning. 3 in the morning, Thursday morning, went home and me and my girl went to the movies uh, that Friday. <clears throat> First day, I didn't really do nothing. You know, went went to the movies that Friday. Went out to eat. The next day, I went to a masquerade party. Uh, pretty nice party. You know, I was actually the photog one of the photographers at the party. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a photographer, like, uh, part-time. I do that on the side. So, I had a pretty good time out there. Sunday, watched Super Bowl. Went to my buddy Daniel, went to his mom's house. They had a little Super Bowl party. Man, that Super Bowl, man, a lot of people say it was boring, but I, I actually had fun watching it. I was going for the Patriots anyway. I had fun watching it. Y'all see I'm in a, in a Camaro right now. How, how I look inside this Camaro, man? I might I might be a little too big for it. Actually, my first time driving one. But uh, me personally, if, if I was to buy a sports car, I, I don't think I would buy a two-door. Because it ain't really no room in the back seat. Now maybe if I was rich and you know I already had a four door car, maybe I would. But you know it's, it's a nice car, but I just want to buy it for myself personally. Yeah, man. I'm currently going through Virginia. I just stopped at a Loves. Got some gas in here. I uh, stopped and got me some coffee. I lost all my showers. Lost all my showers on my Loves car. <laughs> Cause I ain't been to Loves like almost the whole month of January when I did when I was driving. I, I didn't go to Loves. Um company was sending me to um Petro like almost the whole month of January. So I gotta I gotta build my points back. I still got like two showers with Petro. I got like two with Pilot. But Loves, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got no damn free drinks, showers, nothing. So I gotta build all that stuff up. I just used my points to bought some hot dogs and got this drink. Yeah, so I guess I'm guessing I'll be. I'm actually headed to Missouri right now. I got to go to the Missouri terminal. And once I get to Missouri, they're gonna be closed tonight. When I, by the time I get there, so I'm just gonna have to, you know, pull up at the terminal, sleep right here in the car. I never been to the Missouri terminal, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know how it is there. Now, I could, if, if it's like Birmingham, you know, they got like a TV room and stuff with recliners. But I, ain't, I mean, I, I don't know how it is. <clears throat> but uh, I imagine I had to just sleep in the car. And I'm going to get there tonight. So when I wake up, I'll already be there. And I'll uh, check in with the guy there and I'll catch a ride from uh, whoever the driver there is. Going to take me back to my truck. My truck is still at the dealer. So I got to go pick my truck up. I gotta, one of the first things I'm gonna do when I get back to my truck, because I had a load up under me when I went home, but uh, they had to repower it. The guy that originally was gonna repower it, I talked to him before I went home, and he was telling me that, you know, he was gonna um, leave my, he was gonna leave the tarps there, leave some tarps, leave all my straps, stuff like that. He said he was gonna leave it. Also, my V boards, my dunnage, I had all that stuff up under my trailer. The first guy told me that he was going to switch everything out for me. But I called him on my way up here just to talk to him, check in, make sure he switched everything out. Come to find out, this guy, his truck ended up breaking down. So another driver repowered it. And I called my dispatcher and was asking her, and she was like, she didn't know who it was. I mean, it's understandable. It was like last week. They can't track the driver down. But basically, I just wanted to talk to the driver and find out, you know, if he left my straps and my uh, my coil racks, stuff like that. Cause he, but he probably didn't even know I had coil racks up there. I only had two up there. So the first thing I'm going to do 
I, I, I definitely need those straps and those tarps back. And uh, the coil racks, I need those too, but you know, you, you hardly ever use more than two coil racks at a time. I haven't been in a situation where I use more than two. Well, actually I used four one time, but I had a step deck. Yeah, when I had a step deck, I, I ended up using four. But uh, that's gonna be the first thing I do, check out my trailer, make sure I got everything I need. And, I, and I, I'm not even gonna put myself on board to get a load until I know I got everything I need to secure that load. Cause I'm not about to, as soon as I get back to the truck, I'm not about to put myself on board if I ain't got the stuff to secure it. Especially if I gotta go easy to pick the load up. Cause um, I gotta go from where my truck is at, it's probably about 30, about 30, 45 minutes west, back west where the terminal's at, where my truck is at. So before I do anything, I'm gonna make sure I got everything on my truck that I need to secure that damn load. Hey, I hope they don't try to rush me because I ain't rushing. Because uh, I ain't about to get to the truck and go on board as soon as I get there and, find, and come to find out I ain't got no straps to secure nothing with. Then, then I'm going to end up being late to wherever I got to go. So, but, but hopefully it was a pretty good driver that repowered that trailer and he switched everything out. You never know. Some guys might get there like, man, fuck it. I ain't moving all that shit. Yeah, some guys might, might feel like that. But hopefully it was a good driver. Me personally, if if I, eh, Josh Casino, who is Josh Casino? I ain't driving a truck. I'm driving driving a car. Can't do this in a mountain truck. Can't do this in a mountain truck, man, because you got cameras. But I'm I'm, pre I'm a pretty safe driver, you know. So I'm I'm gonna check this I'm gonna check this message out real quick. Somebody just commented on my um, YouTube and said, the melting trainers pissing in bottles. My trainer did the same shit and ran my clock out. Damn. Hey, Melton, man. You know, I got a pretty positive attitude. Everybody always tell me they love my positive attitude and I always keep it positive. And I know this goes on to every, I know it goes on to every company. But I, but I want to ask you, I want to ask y'all, can y'all tell these trainers to stop pissing in these bottles while they're training students? Can y'all tell them that, please? I can understand if, if you know you're a trucker, you're driving by yourself, but if your trainer, if your trainer's in that driver's seat, man, we don't need you in the back seat pissing in a bottle. Well, not the back seat, but in, in the sleeper. We don't need to be driving and you you get up out the passenger seat real quick get in the back seat got down you get the sleeper and, and you just and you and you gonna you're gonna hear you're gonna hear the piss and then um you gonna smell it you're in a truck man most of the time majority of the time you rock you riding with the windows up i try riding i try riding with my windows down one time i mean you can crack them but you can't really uh you can't really roll them down too much because you got too much wind and all that stuff so hey man, can, can we get a petition to get these trainers to stop pissing in these bottles? Especially why they, I mean, you could be a trainer. If, if the trainer wanna piss in the bottle, do it while you do it while you by yourself, while you're on your way to pick up a student. But when you pick up a student, y'all don't need to be pissing in these bottles. If y'all agree with what I'm saying, leave it down in the comments. Yeah, man. That was one of my uh one of my YouTube subscribers that just that just left that message up there. Let's see how far I got to go before I get there. I'm not gonna be there till late tonight. I got five hours, 48 it's just minutes. Not realistic. These days I don't talk about them days like I miss them. Yeah. I got I can get got idea. I got on what I can get. Yeah, I ain't gonna be there till I, I say I'll be there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of extra time to it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be there at 9.30. For the simple fact, you know, I just got some gas. I got a full tank right now. But I know I'm probably gonna have to stop again and get some more gas. Cause I got, let's see. Let's see how many miles. 349 miles. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, and plus I gotta fill this uh, rental car back up to full anyway. So I know I gotta get some more gas. I'm probably gonna stop, use the bathroom. 
So, I, so let's say no later than 9.30, I'll be in Missouri. And the place I had to drop the rental off, I, I, I Googled it, and it's only like 15 minutes away from um, the terminal. So I'll be at the terminal first thing in the morning, whenever. Cause I'm assuming if it's the same as like in Birmingham, you know, the driver brings the students to the, to the terminal, and that'll be the driver that I had to get with, you know, go drop me off and whatever, yada, yada. I'm on 95 North right now. I see, I just seen the sign for 7.3 miles, 17 North. Whew. Does it feel good to be back? I mean, sort of. I hate that I had to drive all the way up here to damn uh, Missouri to get, this, to get this truck though. I mean, I can't even say that I, I wish I could have flew because that, I had, I had to bring all of my personal stuff with me when I went home. So yeah, I, I couldn't have, I couldn't have came back on the plane. So I had I had to drive back. I had to. So now I gotta go back to my truck, to take all my stuff out. Cause I just threw everything inside of a blanket. My boy Eric to help pick me up, he tell you about it. And when I went home, I didn't do nothing. I took out a little bit of stuff I needed, but I didn't I didn't unpack because I knew I was going right back. I, I think I left my other phone mount at home too. I got one that's holding this phone, but I think I left my other one. So, you know, usually I have um I have two cameras. I got with well, two phones actually. So if I did leave it at home, y'all see me look back like that when I'm driving a car. I don't play by my blind spots. I don't, I don't trust those mirrors. So when I'm driving a car and I get ready to merge over, I turn my neck real quick and I look. Yeah, I don't play by blind spots, especially in this Camaro, cause that mirror right there, you can't really see too much. Got an extra, extra lease truck, whatever that truck line is, extra lease. I don't know if the, I don't know if the tractor part say extra. Might, might, I don't know, but it's, Riding that middle lane, it's been riding that middle lane for a while. It's going pretty slow too. I've been riding behind them, cause even though I'm driving a Camaro, I'm not, I'm not speeding. I was on 95 coming out of North Carolina. It was a Honda. It was a Honda that uh, was riding my ass. I finally, I, and I was going about 80, speed limit 70. I finally got over and let the Honda pass me. As soon as this motherfucker passed me, he. He hollering ass. He was going about a hundred. You know, I, I kept up with him. You know, you know, I kept up with him for a little bit. I took it up to about 85. You know, we were still in traffic, so he wasn't going a hundred. He wasn't going wide open at that point in time. But um, I know how the state troopers like to sit on this interstate. They get sitting these little paths and stuff like that. I was like, you know what? I'm a, I'm a professional driver. I'm a truck driver. I can't afford to get no ticket going 100 miles an hour in the 70. I can't afford that, I'm a truck driver, that's my job. I'm like, whoever driving this Honda, it might be an old college student or something like that. So, you know what I did? I slowed my ass down. So even though I'm driving this Camaro, I ain't hauling ass. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video up. I'm about to message, message this guy back on YouTube. And uh, I'll check in with y'all later. Shout out everybody once again. Been checking in on you, boy. Shout out all the melting drivers out there flatbedding. Hey, flatbedding ain't easy. Y'all know what it is. Hey, my boy Juan. How you doing, Juan? You should be going to your second week with a trainer right now. Go ahead and uh, hop down in the comments. Let me know what's going on with you, man. Hopefully, I see you around. Flatbed game. Catch y'all boys later.